By the time Alain got to Kyle Army, little more than a week later, the 1985 champion had already started to find out about the limelight and the pressures of his new status. Yes, I was very busy. As you understand, it's, uh, it was fantastic for, for France, for the French people, and I was very... I had a lot of work to do, not only in France, but uh, all over Europe. I was very happy to win the championship in England, not because it was special in England, because uh, I did not want to win the last two races, or especially the last race, to become world champion. And if I'm world champion, it's because uh, I'm driving for an English team. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm more happy to win the uh, championship at Brands. And everybody said, oh, it's fantastic for France, and uh, he's, go he's going to become the first f French world champion. Okay, I understand, but I mean, I feel more happy for me. For the first of all, you know, I worked for the last 10 years to become a champion, and, uh, and uh, when I went out from my car, I, was, uh, I had a very nice feeling for myself, not especially for France. The Kyle Army track had been the subject of major reconstruction work, including more spacious new pits. The circuit is 6,000 feet above sea level and has a long downhill home straight, so power is all. And the Hondas and PK's BMW dominated qualifying with Nigel Mansell showing his Brands Hatch form with a fine pole position. Red lights on. And away we go. Get a tremendous start here, all the power goes down, and then just in second, third gear, a little bit of wheel spin. A lot of action behind, coming down the straight, everyone's uh, jostling for p position. I'm through into the lead, Nelson second, Mark Sura third. Then we see a bit of action here with Gonzani. Eddie on the outside, Ricardo's just touched, and then he goes flying into Eddie Shiva, really not their fault at all. Coming round, going into club, Elio's in third, Senna fourth, Keki just come up into fifth place now. Coming up onto the main straight. So a lot of action on the first lap, and here we have Eddie and Ricardo obviously discussing the incidents. Neither of them very happy, and uh, justifiably so. Keki overtaking Senna on the outside. Really charging now. So again, he's come up behind the other Lotus of Elio D'Angelis, and I think he'll be diving on the inside. Here he is, coming into the braking area. Now he's up into third place, going very, very quickly indeed. And again, Keki Slipstream and Nelson Piquet. Carl Arm is very, very good for this, and uh, is overtaking him. And he should be able to pull back to get his line for the next corner. So there we have myself, Keki Rosberg, Nelson Piquet, Elio De Angelis, and Ayrton Senna all running quickly at the front. There's Nelson, who would have been uh, very competitive in the race, retiring. And here we have Keki Rosberg slipstreaming me to come to overtake. I'm waving him through at this point. I see no point in holding him up. And he's going very, very quickly. And it's a long, long race. At this point, I was just thinking if I can sit on the tail of Keki and just wait and see what happens, because it's the early stage of the race. It's very significant, uh, Ginzani blowing up in the Tolman, and instead of pulling off quickly, he decided to go around a few corners, dropping his oil everywhere. Senna also blowing up. And here we have, you can see the oil, and we're both almost on line. Keki sliding straight off, and I just scrabbled around the corner. Keki did an excellent job keeping the engine running and was probably a little fortuitous managing to get it back on the circuit as quickly as he did. But that little bit of oil almost claimed both Williams drivers. Elio De Angelis, Alain Prost, Nicky Lauda. If you watch Prost now, he'll dive in under braking and unsettle Elio and his car's twitches and he almost pushes him out on the outside of the corner and then Nicky's able to get through on the same manoeuvre.
Here we have Keki coming up through the grid again, overtaking Elio De Angelis. And the race is really hotting up now at the front because uh, Alan will be very, very close. Some more action. There's some more oil drop there and uh, the corner does go around to the left and unfortunately he got it a bit crossed up. Keki making his first pit stop. Williams mechanics at it. Very, very quick stop. Nine point zero four seconds, very, very good. Here's the fight for the race at the moment. Myself, Alan Prust, Nicky Lauder, Stefan Johansson is one lap down, having stopped the tires already. You'll see that Nicky will pull out of this line and go into the pits for his first stop. Here he comes now into the pits. McLaren mechanics hard at it. Not as quick as they can do, but still wasn't a bad time. Here we have the fight again, myself and uh, Alan Prost. He pulls out and he makes his first pit stop. At this point, I'm thinking if I can keep going for a few laps and hopefully build up a little bit more time, then I can make my stop and have my fresh tyres to last all the distance and be able to go hard at it at the end if, if need be. Coming into the pits now. Williams Mechanics to do a splendid job. Alan Chalice on the back there. Dave Stubbs on the front board. And he won't get out of the way until everything's ready. Away we go. Significantly, Nicky Lauder comes into the pits with a blown turbo and has to retire. Overtaking some back markers. Keki making a second stop after driving so hard uh, he blistered his tyres. And here's Alan again charging at the end. Keki overtaking him round sunset. Now Keki back into second place. Going a little wide at barbecue. Doing a tremendous job to keep it on the circuit driving very very quickly indeed in fact when he set his uh, fastest lap and broke the track record and now coming up onto the last lap and a very very good moment for the Williams team the first one two of the season and for some years oh that's very kind of you Keki it's just what I wanted <laughs> now this is a bit of film that got me into trouble yeah, the second win was almost as good as the first. So, two in a row for a delighted Mansell.